Hey, what's up everybody? So today we are going to go over how to make a rule with your email. Now, I'm on a Mac OS. This is subject to change over time, but here we are. The current year is 2020 and the month is August. So, if you're around that time, this should still hold true. What you want to do is on your Mac computer, go ahead and open your mail application. Now this is assuming that you've already set up your mail to work through this. I will have a separate video for how to do that. In your mail preferences, you can go to, I, I like using the shortcut to get to, um, to system settings, which for Mac is almost always in every application, especially the native ones, holding down the command key and then pressing the comma key like that. Okay, usually it'll bring you to general. Um, so, another way to do that, obviously you can just do settings. Well, okay, let's see, if it, what is it, system settings? I don't even know what it's called, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. I guess if I type rules, okay, apply rules. No, I am lost, I am lost here. Um, but that's fine. Let's, <laughs> oh no. Um, Okay, preferences, and you can even see the icon there. So you just go to mail and preferences and it'll take you, take you right here. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different settings that you can do. Um, and I'm going to rules. Looks pretty simple, right? Add a rule, you can name it, you know, my special 2020 rule. How about that, guys? You like that? Um, all right, so any and all. There's all these different contingencies, right? So if you're a programmer, this might be easier. Uh, if you know coding languages, scripting languages, to, to understand what's going on here. I'm a little rusty, so let's see if we can do this together. Uh, if any, or if all, of the following conditions are met. So what does that mean? So if any of the conditions are met, that means it, it's like an or gate, if you, if you know what I mean. That's a logical gate thing, logic gates cool computer science stuff if you're into that, if you're not, it's totally fine. So all that means is if any of these conditions that you're going to set down there are, are true, then the rule will apply. Now for the all one, that means that it has to be for all, which is like an AND gate. Same thing with computer science uh, logical rules, right, logic gates. Uh, that means that all of the conditions must be met they all must be true in order for the rule to apply. Okay, I'm gonna go to any, um, and as you can see, there's a whole list of things, right? So, if any of the following conditions are met, and you can say from or to, so say like there's a certain email that you get from someone consistently, like maybe it's your best bud, and you're just like, yeah, I wanna make sure that I have that email in a special place, maybe you have a special folder, so, uh, you know, for, okay, so my special 2020 rule for for my buddy, right? Okay, good to go. So now uh, it's from and um, it contains my best bud at some <laughs> email server dot net. We'll just be weird, okay? Uh, so there, there you have it. That's that's the rule. Okay. So you can add another rules as you see. It kind of just populated it for for me. Um, I don't need these, so that's fine, right? Now, <laughs> that's not. Um, so a destination mailbox has been selected for the move copy action. Select a mailbox or remove the action. Oh, destination has not been selected. Okay. So yeah. So there's no action that's being performed. I pressed OK before that uh, happened. That's why I got that error message. So move message. That's that's what I'm going to do in this case. But as you can see, there's a whole list of things you can do. You can copy the message. Um, you could you, you can do all these different things. I totally suggest experimenting and then also reading the documentation. I will try to find uh, the official Apple documentation and just link it in the description. If not, you know, just do your research. Check out some blogs. Look at you some YouTube videos. Uh, whatever gets you there, right? That's IT. So I'm gonna move the message to, uh, God, I don't have a mailbox for it. But let, let's say that, oops, let's say, 
fudge. So, okay. Oh no, what happened to what I was doing? Uh, I'm just gonna press command, hold command, and press uh, comma to bring that back. It, it's just, it went behind, it went behind here. That's all that happened, okay? So you hold comma, brings back that menu, this guy right here. Um, then you'd select the mailbox you want it to go into. I, you know, oh, oh look, you can even put it onto, onto this thing, and I bet you could add other folders there. You know, th these are things that I haven't explored personally, but I thought I'd just give you a quick tip on how to make a rule. There's so many different things that you can do. Look at the settings. Also learn about logic gates, and then when you're done, you press OK. Obviously, I can't because I haven't selected. Okay, well, we'll just, I'll put it to the Google box, all right? So now my rule is complete. Bam. Now, uh, you're done with that, exit out of it, and you're good to go. All those messages will go into that, that mailbox that you select. So say there's certain junk mail or something that you don't like, you can do that with that. There is a junk mail setting as well that's just separate. It's kind of like its own built-in rule. Um, other than me umming a bunch, I think that we're all good to go. <laughs> Hopefully the fan noise wasn't too loud. I hope that you guys are staying nice and cool during this hot summer and getting outside. And uh, stay safe as always. Be kind to others. Be kind to yourself especially. Remember what they say when you, if you've ever ridden an airplane, when you ride an airplane they say, in case of an emergency, if the air mask comes down, put your mask on first before helping others. Words to live by.